hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to do a video tutorial on how we can boost our custom pipeline using pipeline turbo So Pipeline Turbo is a Python package uh, which is developed to support both GPU and CPU tasks as well as we can actually leverage the power of uh, our custom threading which, which we can actually uh, utilize to kind of boost or like we can actually make use of this to fasten the entire pipeline components. So uh, this particular package will definitely work for your uh, pipelines especially like the functions which we actually write to kind of uh, loop through or iterate through different set of variables or like items to kind of get a prediction or get a sentiments or something any anything of that sort basically so let's get started and try to understand how we can actually use it for a custom use case so this is the pipi page of uh, pipeline turbo package and this is actually um, kind of open source and you will be able to see some benchmarking on like uh, like some couple of uh, instances where it is actually running and uh, outperforming like the basic uh, looping technique and uh, this benchmark is purely uh, actually carried out on my laptop machine so we even have the other example usage on like how we can actually try it out for a particular custom uh, classifier function and uh, this package is actually created by uh, Afreen and myself for kind of boost existing workflows and kind of uh, kind of work through on how we can uh, boost the entire system or like entire uh, efficiency of a particular pipeline so let's get started with an example where we can uh, use this particular package so the best part with this pipeline turbo is it's very easy to implement and we don't have to worry too much on how to actually uh, write the entire function or anything it, it will definitely work for the exact same function which we kind of uh, loop through so having said first of all we need to have we need to install this particular uh, pipeline turbo so for that i am just uh, installing it and that is actually my first step and once we install the pipeline turbo uh, we need to install we need to get the data ready so here i just copy pasted some examples from for my like bias uh, classification model where i have some five sentences five sentences and i'm just uh, multiplying it for the demonstration purpose so let's take some 100 sentences and now the next step is creating the pipeline so on the inference like we often kind of uh, make some functions where uh, we need to kind of either classify, predict, run NER, or any any anything of that sort, like like uh, anything anything like we can actually create that function for our inference. And this I'm just taking for the demo. I'm just taking my bias detection model, which is hosted in Hugging Face, and I'm just running that particular classifier. And we even need to run. Uh, we even need to actually create a particular custom function or like we can call it like a pipeline because in the inference we'll be actually running this pipeline for a set of uh, data which we are actually getting so this is where we can apply our uh, pipeline table so this is just a demonstration purpose this we can actually use it for any such function like this so once we have and one more thing like if your machine has gpu capability just provide device equal to zero or else you can just leave this as such so it will use the cpu compute and there is a function simple function which i have written bias classification and we are giving the text and we are running the classifier and we are getting the out and i'm, I'm not just uh, doing anything else it's just a simple function and now what is the what is the uh, time frame like which we can actually get using the turbo without turbo that means the normal looping method so uh, for to calculate that like looping across all the sentences i'm, ju I'm just running this uh, set of uh, data into this bias classification and let's see how it's actually performing so this is the normal scenario which we are actually using uh, while we while we are running so time taken is uh, 0.09 uh, minutes 
So let's see now how we can actually use the turbo uh, function. So first of all, we need to import it. And then for turbo threading, so this is the function basically. Inside turbo, there is a function called turbo threading. And turbo threading, first of all, we need to actually give what is that we have to iterate. So our iteration or like our iterable are actually there in the sentences sentences one list so we need to give this particular variable here as the first argument and then followed by uh, how many ever argument which we need for our uh, bias classification so in this case bias classification need uh, only one argument but we don't need to actually provide this as the item there in the particular uh, function here so we don't need to actually provide bias classification of text here because ideally this text is nothing but uh, it's it's actually the part of the sentences one uh, sentences one list. So we just have to give how what uh, what we have to actually iterate on. We need to iterate on the sentences list. So that's the reason why we are giving sentences list sentences one list. And then this is something which it's uh, uh, defined. It needs to be defined for our uh, particular uh, turbo package because threading is the concept which is actually used in the backend so we need to define how many threads it is so it is either 5 either 10 15 whatever it is so we need to actually define so in this case i am just defining 5 and i am just running the uh, i am just running this particular code so now you can see that it's it's getting running and like it, it's a kind of uh, it it finished in 0 0.06 seconds basically so 0 0.06 minutes ideally so this is the and and each iteration it's taking around 15.62 iteration per second ID. so this is uh, this is the output and if we have to compare this output so for example outlist is nothing but if i just run this run this then outlist is this and similarly if we need to compare this turbo out we can actually compare it so turbo out will give the answer in this particular format so we have the sentence and we have the output so this is the dictionary output which uh, turbo out will actually give so let me let me just run this so turbo out of zero okay it is actually yeah it is in dictionary format so we need to actually give this as this basically so for example if i give this then definitely we'll get the output yeah because it's in key and value okay so let's look one more example in this case uh, like if we need to kind of iterate it and then you can definitely just uh, play around with this because it's very easy to kind of work through so let's put 100 second and I'm just running so there are around 500 uh, 500 sentences now and without turbo let's see what is the iteration speed and like we can actually append it like 5000 50000 so based on your requirement so this is definitely an enhancement method where you can use it in the real time production system where you can simply plug in the entire function into pipeline turbo turbo threading and then give the iterable and uh, let's say you have some other uh, what to say particular argument so for example let's say you have something like in your function text then you have another argument one argument two so and so in the in in these kind of cases clearly text is nothing but the stuff which has to actually uh, iterate so in those kind of cases you can simply define it like this so ideally sentences one is nothing but it, it will handle this so we don't have to explicitly define after bias classification then followed by you can simply mention argument one and argument two here and number of threads here so that 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 definitely will cover the particular system okay so we don't have to worry much on the formatting because it will definitely handle it internally how many of our arguments it is actually it, it will dynamically allocate the uh, arguments so this is where so let's see whether it is uh, completed so it, it took around 0.48 uh, minutes so now let's see what is the so let me just cut this cell and uh, let me just run it for this particular instance so 
so one good part is we can actually see it uh, like using tqdm we will be able to kind of see the progress here so it will definitely run very faster like i would say because it will it will definitely cut short the entire uh, time frame so this is how we will run a particular uh, what to say custom pipeline using the pipeline turbo function and uh, i i would suggest you guys to check it out and try it on in your examples and what is the uh, and check the value proposition you able to minimize like this this will be very evident in bigger number of sentences because these kind of and and it will even be very much evident on cpu tasks because uh, gpu like you you know like it's it's much faster than the normal scenarios so definitely this is a worth try for boosting your existing uh, pipeline so that's that's all for today and have a great day guys uh, thank you